I'm back with another LiPo comparison for you. Today we're going to be looking at the HRB 4S 6000 milliamp LiPo and comparing it to the CNHL or China Hobby Line 4S 6600 milliamp 120C LiPo. 50C versus 120C. Which is going to win? We'll find out. If you haven't seen my previous comparison, looking at the HRB 6050C pack versus the Huvu 6200 120C pack, I'll put a link to the video in the top corner up there. You can check that out. The results were pretty shocking. I was not expecting it, I can tell you that. So these two packs are very similar in size. The CNHL appears to be about one millimeter shorter compared to the HRB. Weight wise, the HRB weighs 584 grams and the CNHL weighs 616 grams. As we would expect, the larger capacity battery is a little heavier. One of the things I have noticed while looking at batteries and looking at the specs and comparing them is that a lot of the batteries that I see, you could have a 6,000 milliamp battery that weighs say 600 grams and you have an 8,000 that weighs 650. To me, this doesn't really make sense. I'm not sure how you could put 25 more capacity into 10% more weight. Maybe I'm wrong. This CNHL battery should have approximately 15% more capacity than this battery, but yet it only weighs, say, 5% more. This test is going to be similar to my previous test using this HRB pack, where I'm going to use my charging station to discharge them at close to a 3C rate and look at the voltage over the discharge, also comparing the internal resistance and the voltage variation between cells. In order to make the test fair, I can't really use this battery. Why? This battery is about six months old. I've used it and abused it. It's been handling it really well, but it's not a new battery and it probably has 40 to 50 cycles of hard use in some fifth scale trucks. So what I'm going to do is take the original video, the discharge test I did with this, and put the video side by side, running them at a approximately a 3C discharge rate. In the last test, I discharged the HRB at 17 amps, which compared to a 3C discharge would be 18 amps. It was approximately 94% of a 3C. Looking at the CNHL, it's a 6600 milliamp battery. A 3C discharge rate would be 19.8 amps. So 94% of that would be 18.6 amps. So that's what I'm going to discharge this at. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into the test and see if this CNHL can defeat the reigning champion, the HRB. Starting off the discharge test, we have the HRB on the left and the China Hobby Line on the right. I thought I had done a better job of framing and getting the lighting to match what I had done in the original test, but it was a little off, so we're going to have to deal with it. The reason I'm able to discharge these batteries at such a high rate is because I'm using my charging station, which has two 6S 20,000 milliamp batteries as the mother batteries. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say mother batteries anymore. Perhaps I should call them father batteries. Anyways... There are two large batteries that I'm able to discharge into at a pretty high rate. This is a long discharge, so I will fast forward through most of it and stop at periodic times to compare the voltage between each battery, the cell voltage variation, and the internal resistance. At approximately four minutes and 20 seconds, we can see the HRB on the left is at about 3.91 volts and the China Hobby line on the right is about 3.9 volts. So the HRB is slightly higher. It is important to note that even though you see a higher discharge rate of 18.6 amps on the China Hobby line battery, that is in respect to the C rating or capacity of the battery. So these are both 94% of a 3C discharge rate. Let's keep going. As I'm recording this voiceover, this is the first time I have seen the two next to each other as they're discharging. We can see the HRB is slightly higher than the China Hobby Line by about 0.02 volts, which is not that significant in my opinion. The variation in voltage between each cell is slightly higher on the China Hobby Line at 14 to 15 millivolts, where we're at 5 millivolts on the HRB. At approximately nine minutes into the test, we can see the internal resistance on the HRB is very consistent at about 1.6 milliohms per cell. 
the voltage was 3.78 volts. And on the China Hobby line, we have 3.767577. Again, we see a higher voltage variation between the different cells. At just over the 10 minute mark, we can see the voltage on the China Hobby line is 3.73, 3.74 volts, and about 3.74 to 3.75 on the HRB. The internal resistance on the China Hobby line is consistent at around 1.8 milli ohms. I will note that the internal resistance on the HRB is slightly lower throughout the test. So this is probably the part of the test where you're starting to get pretty bored, but this is where it gets interesting. The HRB is at about 3.7 volts. Internal resistance is approximately 1.5 milliohms per cell. Notice that we have a larger capacity that has been discharged from the China Hobby line. And again, that is due to the higher discharge rate, but it is in respect to the capacity. On the China Hobby line, we're at about 3.69 volts and an internal resistance of approximately 1.5 seven, 1.8, 1.6 milliohms. Again, the voltage variation on the China Hobby line has been consistently higher throughout the discharge. As I said before, this is where the test really starts to get interesting. At just over 17 minutes, we can see we're at 3.65 volts on the HRB and 3.64 volts on the China Hobby line. Internal resistance is consistent at about 1.4 milliohms per cell and 1.5, say, on the China Hobby line. Notice the difference in cell voltage variation is increasing on the China Hobby line. We're up to 25 millivolts difference across the cells. This is something I want to note and something that's going to make a big difference going forward. At just over 19 minutes, we can see the cell number one on the China Hobby line has reached 3.6 volts. 3.6 volts is the selected voltage that I chose to do this discharge test to, as I see this as a usable voltage from 4.2 to 3.6. Cell one has already reached 3.6, so the current from the charger being drawn from the battery is going to decrease. Because it's decreasing, there's a lower load on the battery in general. So the voltage on the other cells is going to increase now. So we still have pretty consistent internal resistance in each cell, which means that you should expect to see each cell discharge at a very similar rate. Because there's less of a draw on the other cells now, the overall voltage has increased and you can see that we're down to only discharging at eight amps. On the HRB side, I had preset the safe capacity discharge to, I think, like 95% or something like that. So it actually stopped discharging. I did reset it and continue, and we were able to take out, I think, maybe another 200 milliamps. I'll put the totals at the end and discuss them. I'm going to fast forward through most of the rest of it because you can see that the voltage variation across the cells on the China Hobby line is just going up and up and up as the current draw goes down. At 25 minutes into the test, you can see that both batteries have very much slowed down. The HRB, because it's reaching 3.6 volts or close to it on all cells in the China Hobby line, because cell one has already reached 3.6 volts. It would take a long time for this to continue with such a slow discharge rate taking from cells two, three, and four that I decided to just step it down to 3.5 volts, then 3.4, just to see how much more capacity I was able to get out of it. But for the sake of this test, we're just gonna call it at an end at 3.6 volts, compare the total amounts discharged, and also what we saw through the voltages, the internal resistance, and the variation in cell voltage. So let's talk about it. And there you have it, another budget LiPo from Amazon with a 50C rating is outperforming a, what I consider to be a name brand, top of the line 120C LiPo. I'm beginning to wonder where these C ratings come from in LiPo batteries. Perhaps the manufacturers take a dart and throw it at a dartboard and come up with a number for a C rating. With some brands, I have seen a very drastic difference between a lower C rating and a higher C rating, 
but lately on the lipos that I've been testing, it's not the case. This HRB 50C pack outperformed the Huvu 120C pack and also the China Hobby Line 120C pack. Although the difference was not as great with these two, you could see consistently through the test, the HRB held a slightly higher voltage. A higher C rating should mean that the battery will hold a higher voltage during a discharge. And granted, this is only about a 3C discharge rate. You would still expect to see the same results, maybe not to the same scale. But consistently throughout the discharge, the HRB held a slightly higher voltage. The variation between cell voltage was less. The internal resistance was less. This all tells me that this is a better battery pack. Yes, this battery pack does have a higher capacity. I wish they made these in a higher capacity, but they don't. And I know what you're all thinking. Put a link in the description so I can buy up these HRB packs. Well, I have bad news. No! Unfortunately, for the past few months, these have been unavailable on Amazon and I cannot find them anywhere. I wish I could, I'd buy some more of them because they do seem to perform very well compared to the others I've tested. I will put links to the Amazon page for this battery, but as I said, they've been unavailable for months. I will put links to this battery as well, to the China Hobby Line site and to Amazon as well. They are affiliate links, so I do appreciate the support. Cost you nothing more and it will help me out to buy some more batteries to test for you. A few things I do want to point out is I did this test from a fully charged battery down to 3.6 volts. I consider this to be a usable voltage. I've heard mixed reports, but from my understanding of LiPo batteries, you don't want to discharge them too low, even though some manufacturers say you can discharge them down to 3.3 volts. The HRB discharged 5,800 milliamps from fully charged to 3.6 volts, which would show 96.7% of its specified capacity of 6,000 milliamps to be discharged through that voltage range. Compared to the China Hobby Line, we discharged approximately 6,250 milliamps compared to its specified capacity of 6,600 milliamps, which would give us 94.7% of its capacity in that voltage between fully charged and 3.6. I think this is an important thing to look at. If you watched my other review on the Huvus, about 20% of its capacity was below 3.6 volts, which if you're running in a car, the less voltage you have, the less RPMs you have. So I don't know how they call that a high C rated battery, but batteries are different. Last thing I'd like to say is I do have four of these HRB batteries. I've ran this test on all four of them. They were all very consistent. I ran this test on both of the China Hobby Line batteries and in both of them, cell one seemed to drop down at the end, whether I was being discharged to 3.6, once I stepped it down to 3.5, that was always the first cell to discharge down way lower than the other cells, causing a very substantial variation in the voltage across the cells, which is not a good thing. It did balance pretty quickly when I charged it back up. And it's odd, normally when you would see one voltage that is either higher or lower, you would see a difference in the internal resistance of that cell, which we really didn't see. There were slight variations in both the batteries, nothing substantial, but yet the one cell seemed to discharge faster than the others. If you have any experience with these batteries, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Let me know how you like them. If, was your experience the same? Was it different? If you have any recommendations on other batteries for me to test, also let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people were requesting the Z packs from Amazon, so those are probably gonna be the next batteries that I get to test. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with some friends if they are into RC and buy batteries. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome RC videos. I'll see you in the next one.